Hello. Like me, some of you may have multiple Raspberry Pis deployed around your environment, whether it be your home or business. They might be print servers, they might be security cameras, they might be temperature monitors, and you want an easy way to monitor them through Libra NMS. Well, the SNMP agent is not installed or configured by default on Raspbian. And that's what I'm going to cover today. We're going to cover installing and enabling the SNMP agent so that you can monitor your Raspberry Pis. These steps will be done in two parts. The first part will be the basics of just enabling the SNMP agent service. That's really all you need to do. If you want to get a little bit more detailed with how Libra NMS is monitoring these devices, basically it's just getting the correct icon. Uh, then I'll also have some a second part, an optional part, that I'll go through as well. Okay, let's dig in. This is a fully updated and fresh install of Raspbian OS. Uh, I also have a Google Doc created with all of the commands that we need to go through, and I'll post that in the description to give you guys easy access. So the first thing we need to do is run sudo apt update and then install the SNMP service. So let's do that now. Okay, the update has completed, so let's install snmpd. sudo apt install snmpd. Yes, to confirm you want to install. Okay, great. Now the next step is to make some minor edits to the config file. So I'm going to use uh, nano to do this. sudo nano etsy snmp snmpd.conf. Okay, inside the config file, we need to add this line, ro community public. So copy. And I'm just going to add this down here. And remember, right click to paste. All right, and I need to edit these lines. So I need to comment this agent address line by adding a hashtag in front of it. So let's find the agent address. Okay, it's right here. So I'll comment it out by adding the hash symbol. Okay, and then I need to uncomment the line. Uh, looks like this one, agent address. All right. Great, that's all the edits we need to do to the SNMP config, so I'm going to exit with Control X. Yes, that I want to save changes, and enter to confirm. Next I'll restart the SNMPD service. Anytime you make a change to the config, you need to restart the service for those changes to take effect. So sudo systemctl uh, restart snmpd. Okay, great. The service has restarted. If you want to check the status, then it's just sudo system ctl status snmpd. Okay, and there is an error here. That's okay. It's just saying it can't find the PCI bus, which Raspberry Pis do not have, uh, but otherwise the service is running. Okay, I'll just hit Q to get out of that prompt. The next thing we need to do is add it to Libra NMS. If you're not sure what the IP address of the Pi is, you just do ifconfig. And I can see my IP address right here, 192.168.4.176. So I'll come in here, add a device, 192.168.4.176. Community is public, and add. Okay, it says it was added successfully. So let's take a look at it. Now keep in mind that Libra NMS does need time to figure out what this system is and figure out what it can monitor about the system. Um, this should take about five minutes just to get the basic info. But really, you'll need a good 20 minutes for the graphs to start coming in and uh, seeing the status of the system. 
Okay, here we go. So at almost five minutes, we're starting to collect some information about the device. As Libra NMS collects more history, these graphs will start to populate and have actual images. Now at this point, we really are finished with the SNMP setup. There are a few other things that you can tweak. For example, down here at location, if you want to change the location or perhaps the contact, this is done in the SNMPD config file. So I can show you where that is. The other thing is this uh, Linux icon, this Tux icon, will never update to the Raspberry Pi icon. And that's what step two covers. So first I'll show you how to change the location and then we'll also tackle step, step two. So if I uh, go back into editing this config file, if I just push up in the terminal, it shows me my command history. So I'll do the sudo nano um, to, to edit the config file. And if you look through this file carefully, uh, down here under system information, you'll find the contact. So I'm going to change this just to say that it's a, a test pi. And this is a pi 3 that I'm working on. And just to show that you can change the contact, I'm going to call it uh, first name, last name. There. Um, that's it. That's all we need to change in here. So I'll go ahead and control X to exit. Yes to save. Enter to confirm. And remember, we made a change to the config file. So what do we have to do? That's right. We have to restart the service. So I'll just press up to restart the SN SNMP daemon. Okay, now, while Libra NMS continues to collect information, I'm going to proceed through the optional steps. So, to get the Raspberry Pi logo working, what I had to do was steal this distro file that Libra NMS installed. So I'll show you how to install it if you choose to do so. Okay, so what we're going to do with these optional steps is sudo touch. The touch command helps us create a file. We're going to put it in user bin, and the file is called distro. Hit enter. Now that the file is created, it needs to be executable. Otherwise, you'll have an error. So sudo chmod to change the mode, plus x, and the location of that file. So user bin distro. OK, now this file is empty, so we also need to use nano to put the script inside of this file. So sudo nano user bin distro. OK, and here it is. The file's empty. At the bottom, it says there are zero lines. So this is the script. It's quite long. It's in green. So go ahead and copy this script. I'm going to right click, copy, and then I'm going to right click and paste. And the last thing I'm going to do, we, we should be able to just exit from here, but I'm going to scroll up. And the reason for this is sometimes these very long lines will wrap, the text will wrap. And if that happens, the, the file will be broken. Um, I might be able to show you a quick example. Okay, I, I can't really, but, but up here, see this dollar sign? Well, this dollar sign indicates that the line is wrapping. And so what might happen sometimes, I'll just put an enter in here. This might be what happens if you copy text that has wrapped. So for example, if you paste this into Notepad and you have wrapped text turned on, this might happen to some of your lines. And if it does, it's going to break the config file from working because each line is executed as a command, and it's going to try to execute this partial word as a command, and of course it won't be a command, and so you'll get an error. Hello, this is me from the future. Just a quick note, if you do make an error in your config or your distro file, the error that I was referring to will appear right here in this section. Uh, generally, it will say something like, cannot execute command, or file not found, 
So even if you go through here and you save it and you're getting an error in Libra NMS, don't worry, just a line has wrapped. So go back in this file, find that line, just hit delete to, to you know put it back all on a single line and then control X, Y to save, enter to confirm. And then uh, the last thing we need to do now that the file is created is we need to add this extension into our SM, SNMP config file. So we're gonna do sudo nano etsy snmp snmpd.conf. We're gonna edit this file one more time. And we're gonna scroll down to the section where the extends are. Okay, and down here where it says extending the agent, I'm just gonna put the command in right here. I'll copy it. Copy. And remember to right click and paste. And then save it. Control X, Y to, con y to save, enter to confirm. And remember, we've edited the SNMP config file, so what do we have to do? Restart the service. So, sudo system ctl restart snmpd enter. Hello, it's me from the future again. If you followed the full instruction set, including the optional instructions, and you're finding that some of the information in Libra NMS is not updating. What you may need to do is go into edit mode on the device and click rediscover device. Device will be rediscovered and this process may take again about another five minutes. If you've done all of the steps and then added the device to Libra NMS at the very end, you should not need to rediscover the device because everything will be discovered during the initial discovery when the device is added. Okay, and here we go. About three to five minutes after we rediscovered the device, we can find that we now have the Raspberry Pi logo and also our location has updated as well. And that's it. Don't forget to restart the service. If you're troubleshooting an error and you're making changes in your config file and you can't figure out why your changes aren't taking effect, restart the service. It's very easy to forget this step. Otherwise, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you can get SNMP set up on your Raspberry Pis. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content. And let me know in the comments how you're making out with this and, and how you're using your Pis at your home. Thanks and have a great day.